In this video, I'll be showing you how to fix the EA app unable to connect errors, not connecting issues, and not being able to log in within Windows 10 and Windows 11. So the first thing that we want to do is just ensure that we have the latest updates installed in Windows. And we can do this by right clicking on the start menu icon and then going to settings, clicking on update and security, and then clicking on the check for updates button. If you also have a new feature update available, like I do, download and install that as well. So once you've updated Windows, the next thing that we want to do is go to the network icon in the bottom right hand corner in the system tray and right click on it. You then need to click on open network and internet settings. And you now need to click on change adapter options. And we then need to right click on your network adapter and then go disable. Once it's disabled, go ahead and right click on it again and go enable. Once the network adapter has been enabled and it says you've got an internet connection in the bottom right hand corner, go ahead and try signing back into the EA app and see if it resolved the connection issues you were having. If updating Windows and re-enabling the network adapter didn't resolve the issue, then the next thing that I want you to do is use a cable connection if you're using a wireless connection. A cable connection's a lot more stable and it will also offer faster speeds when it comes to your internet. So it's definitely worth using a cable connection if you are able to. Also, if you are going through some plug-in adapters in the wall, then don't use them, go directly to the router, as these can sometimes cause issues. If you're also using a hub or something before the router, then just again, go directly to the router in case there's an issue with the hub or switch that you're currently using. So once you've done all that, and if that isn't the issue, then the next thing that we want to do is open up command prompt. And we can do this by clicking on the start menu icon and then typing in CMD. You now need to click on command prompt. And once open, you now need to type in ipconfig and we then need to do a space and then do forward slash flush DNS. Once you've typed that in, now press enter on your keyboard and it will then say you successfully flushed the DNS. So now go ahead again and try the EA app and see if it helped resolve the connection issues you've been having. If that didn't help, then the next thing that we need to do is check that your security software is not causing the issue. So if you have a third party security program installed on your computer, then put it into a passive or a game mode to ensure that it's not blocking the EA app. If you do not have this option, then the next thing to do is disable your security software just to ensure that it's not blocking the app. Just be warned though, while your security software is disabled, you might not be protected from security threats. If the EA app does work and you don't have those connection issues and you're able to log in, then you know you need to add the EA app to the exception list within your security software. You will need to go onto their website to find out how you can do this. If you're using Windows Defender, then we need to open up the start menu and type in Windows Defender. You now need to click on Windows Defender Firewall and we then need to click on Allow an Apple feature free Windows Defender Firewall and you now need to click anywhere in the list and press E. You should now see a massive list of different EA app options. If you do not see these options or if under private and public they are unticked, then you need to click on change settings and you then need to tick each option underneath private and public as you can see mine is at the moment. To add the EA app, we need to click on allow another app and you then need to click on browse if the EA app is not in the list and you then need to go to the location where you installed the app. And once you're in the location where you installed the EA desktop app, you then need to add the following. You need to add the EA background service, which you can see here. So you'd press open and then add it. You then need to add the EA connect and then underline Microsoft, which is this one here. You then need to add this one, EA Desktop, and you then need to scroll down a bit more, and we then need to add this one here, EA GEP, and you also need to add the EA Localhost SVC, which you can see is here. So once you've selected all those and press open, and then ticked under private and public, then try the EA app again. You will need to add all those .exes as well, to your third party security program if that's what you're adding it to. 
So before we go any further, I just want to quickly say the support for this channel so far has been absolutely amazing. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, then click on that subscribe button if you did find this video helpful and you want to see more just like it. So the next thing that you need to do is close all this down and we then need to open up the start menu and we then need to type in EA. We now need to right click on the EA app and go open file location. You would then be taken to a list of different options. We need to double click onto the app recovery option. As you can see, it's just here. Once you've clicked on that, you will now have a window that's going to allow us to clear the cache for the EA app. So we need to go ahead and click on the clear cache button. You then need to wait a few seconds and the EA app is going to do its thing. You should have a window that's saying connecting to the EA app like I currently do. Allow that to run and then it should open up the EA app. As you can see, it's doing it now on my computer. If that didn't resolve the connection issues that you're having, then the next thing that we need to do is open up File Explorer. Once you have File Explorer open, you now need to click in the address bar and we then need to do the percentage symbol and type in local and then app data and then do the percentage symbol again and press enter. You will now have a list of lots of different folders. We need to scroll down until you come across electronic arts. You need to right click on this folder, but before you do that, you need to ensure that the EA app is closed and is not running in your system tray. As you can see, the EA app is not currently running down in my system tray. There is no icon. If you do see the icon, then right click on it and just go exit. We can now right click on the electronics arts folder and go rename. You then need to add BK to the end and then press enter. Now go ahead and launch the EA app again and you will then be asked to sign into the app. Go ahead and type in your email and password and then try and sign in. If that didn't work, then the next thing that you need to do is untick keep me signed in and then try typing in your email again and then your password and click sign in and see if that resolves the sign in, in issues that you're currently having. Also ensure that you have sign in as invisible unticked. If that didn't resolve the issue, then the next thing that we need to do is right click on the network icon and you then need to click on the open network and internet settings. You then need to click on change adapter options again and we now need to right click on the network adapter and go to properties. You now need to click on to internet protocol version 4 and go to properties and we now need to click on use the following DNS server address. So as you can see mine says 1.1.1.1 next to preferred DNS server you need to use this, so you simply go like that and then go 1, 1, 1 and then 1 and then press OK. This is going to use the Cloudflare DNS. I will pop a link to the website that has a bit more detail about what this will do, but hopefully this will help resolve the connection issues that you're having with the EA app. So that does now bring me to the end of this video. I will also pop a link in the description below to a guide that we will do that I will add more methods to if I can think of any that I wasn't able to add to this video. So if you like this video, click the like button below. And if you want to see more computer sluggish videos, then click that subscribe button. If you do subscribe, then I will see you in the next video.